Hello all, hope you're doing well. This video is a very quick one about peel paragraphs, what they are and how you use them. So you are expected to write an essay or a longer answer question in a certain format. Now peel paragraphs, otherwise known as steel paragraphs, but for the sake of this video, peel paragraphs are how you structure your answers for six and nine markers, okay? So the P stands for point, the first E stands for evidence, the next E stands for explanation, and the L stands for link. Now, the writing this way is a skill that is marked. It's no point in you writing all the facts, for example, about Christchurch, writing all the facts and not writing in the right structure because your answer, what the examiner is looking for, is not only factual information, but also um, an argument, a coherent argument that makes sense and answers the question ultimately. So what is your P, your point? It's your first sentence. What point are you trying to make? For example, one factor that meant the um, earthquake was bad is location. One way you can deal with tsunamis is whatever. That is your point, it's one sentence. Okay. Your E is your evidence. So what evidence, evidence do you have to back up your point? What proof is there? This is where you bring in your case study. So for example, one uh, cause, um, one, one effect of an earthquake is deaths. For example, as seen in Christchurch, da, 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 say your numbers, say your dates. So your E is your evidence. That makes your point stronger. Okay, if you could back up a point with evidence in an argument, it makes it stronger. This is no exception here either. Your next E is the most important bit. So, so far, your point is one sentence, your evidence is one sentence, your explanation is where you use more than one sentence. Two or three, I would say, to try and make it detailed. Your explanation. You're explaining your point. You're explaining your evidence through your point. So you're explaining why something is the way it is, or explaining to what extent something is. You know, this is where you get the marks for your evaluation, your explanation. This is where you get the detail in. Okay? So for example, you could say one way of reducing the impacts is planning. That's your point. Uh, one method of planning as seen in LICs is earthquake proof buildings that's your evidence your explanation would be explaining that how do earthquake proof buildings um, reduce the effects of earthquakes for example okay but explaining the point in detail your link your last sentence is one sentence as well link you link it back to the question therefore this is why da 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 da, da. Therefore, this answers the question because da, da 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 one sentence. Break it down like this. Your peel paragraph should be, I would say, five to six sentences. Okay, so one sentence for your point, one sentence explanation, uh, one sentence evidence, two or three for your explanation. Maybe three if you want to try and get a top seven. If you want a grade seven, eight or nine, you need three sentences for your explanation, and then one for the link. For a six marker, you do this twice. For a nine mark, you do it three times. Simple. Point, what is your point? Evidence, can you prove that through a case study or through, through using a figure? Explanation, so this is why, why is this important? Why is this your point? What is your point in your evidence? And link, this refers to the question, therefore this shows that. Simple, really. If you think about it like that, a really top tip from me is if you're writing six and nine markers, I would say at this stage, as you're practicing, put a little P, a little E, a little E, and a little L by your peel. And then you can see if you've done it, see if you've missed anything out. It's a really good way of checking your work. Okay, see you for the next one. Take care, guys.